Hey guys, this is Mr. V over here doing a book review today for Carrie by Stephen King. One thing you guys should know from the beginning is that I do a spoiler-free review or as few spoilers as possible. Occasionally I have a, just some notes that I look at just so I don't give any spoilers away. So, Carrie by Stephen King. The basic premise for this book, it's about a bullied girl named Carrie White. And uh, she's in high school, she's just bullied, she's a social outcast, she doesn't have friends, and it's just about her high school life, and that's about as far as I can say. So, Carrie the novel is very interesting because uh, this was Stephen King's first officially released book, and then uh, did very well, they went on later to make a very famous movie which even people that don't have never read the book or even seen the movie know certain things about Carrie. I hope you don't know those things, but even if you do, don't let that stop you from reading the book. Because, you know, well, you'll see in my book review, but don't let that stop you. So let's get into the actual book review. So the thing for Carrie is right from the beginning, uh, Stephen King sets a very dark tone. Uh, the character Carrie, when she's describing some stuff, uh, her uh, the school setting, Carrie's home life, which is basically her mother, all of it is just very dark right from the beginning. And it just, like within pages, you can see how dark a book is going to be. He, and he just says that immediately because uh, she's bullied within just a few pages. And she discusses it a little more in depth, but you can just kind of picture the scene in your head because yeah Stephen King is just great at doing that and what uh, Stephen King does well also from the beginning is he sets this like the way people act the way teenagers in high school act uh, he sets that very well he says like you know you can really picture the teenagers acting this way in terms of how they bully or tease each other, how some of them want to get revenge, how some of them will feel remorse, others will feel entitled, but the, also the immaturity in almost all of them in what they want to do. And Stephen King does that very well, you know, so it feels real, like it feels like you can really see it happening. And, um, but uh, what also makes this a very interesting novel is the way in which it's written because it's written um, in like a past tense and a present tense and the reason it's written that way is there is one I mean it, it follows Carrie White's life and there's one big event that happens in the book but there's a lot of other things that happen as well and that big event causes like magazines to write about it later uh, books to write about it later, like uh, biographies, things like that. So it's like he kind of switches back and forth between like a magazine clip about what had happened. And then like someone will write like their biography about, you know, what had happened. And then he'll switch and then you'll all of a sudden be like in the present tense and like you'll see what Carrie's thoughts are or what's really going on in the actual setting. And things like that. I, I, I know I may not have explained it the best, but basically it keeps switching back and forth between, you know, what's really happening in Carrie's mind to then what happened after the event and magazines writing about it after, you know, and it's, it's kind of cool because um, it does set some mystery about the novel because like, you'll like, uh, they'll, he'll have like a chapter where, their students are talking, like two students are talking. And then the next chapter, it'll be like a magazine article from like 10 years later. And that magazine article will talk about how those kids died. And then the next chapter will have those uh, kids talking again. And it's like, you know, it does throw some mystery in there about like, okay, what happened? You know, and it, you know, it does do that. So, you know, I, I thought that was really cool. But there are times which were kind of annoying. Um, I've seen others say the same. That sometimes the writing style was a little annoying. Other times it was super cool. So, you know, it, it, it was both. But um, again, it's, it's because it focuses around some big events. And again, I can't say those big events without uh, spoiling anything. Many are, may already know what it is, but even if you know what the big event is, 
there is still a very high anticipation and he writes it just beautifully to where you if you don't know what happens you you know it, it builds up it's it's way better but even if you know what happens there's such a high anticipation that it's a lot of fun so you know no matter what it, it, it's a lot of fun and the other thing that Stephen King does and he's done this in so many books is you feel so much emotion when reading this book because you know you feel bad when people are bullying Carrie or Carrie talks about past bullying experiences you really feel bad for her and you know you can sometimes you know it's just it feels super real and you know he does that amazingly now some of the other things that you know I did not like about the book uh, fully were that it's um, it's a pretty raw book um, uh, Stephen King has said the same that it's a very raw book because I mean it was his first officially published novel and um, if you're at a bookstore you know just flip through a few pages and you can see it's a pretty raw book um, some of the things are that he didn't describe the settings much uh, you kind of like I kind of pictured it just from like my own high school because he didn't really describe what the high school looks like or he again he didn't describe the settings much so you know I had to kind of just picture it myself and it's same with the characters he didn't uh, really say what the characters look like a lot of times he would just say like the hair color they had and of course the names but he didn't say what they look like so again you had to kind of like picture exactly what they would look like just on your own and you know sometimes that's why I said it's a and it's also pretty raw in some of the uh, just terminologies he used and you know things like that it's hard to uh, fully say what it was without again that's why I say just go to a bookstore and flip through a few pages and read some of it and and, and I think you'll be able to tell but you know I th I thought one uh, uh, one good thing about it too was uh, you know or sorry those are some of the negatives about it but um, I actually uh, enjoyed the end it doesn't mean that it ends nicely um, but I thought he wrapped a lot of things up and you know there was there's again was, I can't say much but I thought because it, it kind of had like a double or even triple end so you know and I thought each part kind of just built upon the other and it was really cool and you know I just like the especially the last pages are just like wow because it makes your spine kind of tingle and you know I always think that's a great thing for like a horror novel when it ends and you like kind of have a tingly feeling so you know I thought that was really cool now as for my rating I always rate my books on a scale of 0 to 10 a 0 is an awful book I put a 5 as an average and a 10 is phenomenal if it gets to a 10 like very few books make it to 10 but then that should be a good next read because again a five is average I'm known to be a pretty tough critic if you go back through some of my other book reviews you'll see I'm a pretty tough critic because again a five is average but I would rate you know this was a pretty difficult book to rate I knew the approximate area but after a lot of consideration I'm gonna rate Carrie a seven now a seven is still pretty high in my standards because again a five is average and it's hard to move up even 0.5 so a seven is still a very solid book the reason it was difficult to rate is because there was times in the book where I'm like oh it was going up to like seven and a half eight but then there were times where I was like eh, I got dropped back down to like a six and then I was like well no it, it was pretty consistent to where it was kind of just a seven and you know again um, I'm a very tough critic because five is average so a seven's a definitely a book that you should go and check out but something I would say being I've been a longtime Stephen King fan he's my favorite author I do not suggest this as your first book I would suggest uh, a few other books while this book is a little shorter I do not and it's more well known I don't suggest taking this as your first book just because of some of the negative aspects I said is there are many other books that I think you can enjoy more if it's your first book but if you know some of the Stephen King stuff then I definitely suggest you go out and read this one. So if you guys have any disagreements or have any comments, please post it in the comments below. I hope you click the subscribe button. But thank you for listening to my book review. This is Mr. V. Go enjoy your reading.